Hi, this is Grace Wayland, um, and I'm here to talk about The Tilted Arc by Richard Serra and its removal from the federal office building plaza that it was in in New York. Um, I did a lot of research. I read all of the resources, watched the videos, and ultimately I've come to the opinion of public art is owned by the public and therefore if the public doesn't like it, they have the right to petition and removal. It's different than art being in a museum or being in an art show. Um, public art is paid for by taxpayer dollars and we have a right to have an opinion about it and if it's something that doesn't fall into our values or fall into our lines or we think it um, is obtrusive to our lives, we have the right to petition for it to be removed. I also think there are fundamentally issues with whole situation that happened in regards of the Tilted Ark being removed and how it was handled. Um, I think like the purpose of public art is to serve the community that it is in. And I think that the Tilted Ark was not serving its community that it was placed in as it was a massive 12 foot by over 100 foot long piece of steel in a office building plaza. And I can see their argument of it disrupting like the flow of movement through the plaza, it creating like this divide and that they can use it for public spaces. And so I can see why it would be difficult for people to be on board with this massive sculpture being placed there. I also feel like uh, Richard Serra was not treated fairly in his trial that they gave him. Um, firstly, according to the New York Times, uh, William J. Diamond, who had just come into power as a leader of the GSA, had already, the people he selected for the board were already sympathetic to his views, and he had just come into power, and it feels like it was a public, like a publicity stunt to gather more favor from people. Like, obviously, people are upset about this, so we're going to get rid of it. And I'm going to be liked by people. And so it just felt very weird. Like, the whole purpose of having a trial is that the person who is opposed also has equal representation there. And I feel like he the odds were stacked against him already and that made it like inherently unfair i also think that in the argument we have the number uh, 122 people in favor of keeping the the structure and 58 people in favor of removing the structure is not completely representative um that stack comes from pbs it's not completely representative of the situation so yes, there was 122 people that were in favor of keeping the sculpture. The 58 people that testified against it also represented the 1,300 people that signed a petition for it to be removed. So I think we also have to remember on the bigger end of the numbers, it's 122 people and 1,358 people that don't want the sculpture there. I also think it was a lot of tension over what an artist's right is. And I think it's important to like respect people and the things that they create. And also if you make a commission to the government, the government ultimately owns that material. They paid you a lot of money for it and they have the right to do what they're going to do. And so while like, I don't think the trial was handled correctly. Ultimately, if they wanted to take it down, they were going to take it down. And his refusal to try to work with them to find a new location just means that his art gets to sit in storage for forever. And I feel like that's more of a disservice to him and the thing he created than it is like a problem of the government. Um, 
I also am frustrated by the fact that in the next couple years, they had to renovate the plaza anyway. And in those renovations, I feel like they would have ended up removing it anyway. So I feel like all these different roads led to the same location. Um, for this, the, cite, the citations that I used were the, S, the SF MoMA video, <clears throat> um, Richard Serra on trial for Tilted Arc, um, Art View by the New York Times and Essie of Tilted Arc is Far From Over. I also used um, PBS Richard Serra's Tilted Arc. And um, Lost Art Richard Sarah by the Tate. Thank you.